We've been looking at the rule of derivatives using the formal definition. And now we're getting into techniques that we don't have to use this formal definition to take the derivative. We started going through a couple of these um, and I will give you some more today. But right now what we have gone through says that if g of x is some function equal to a constant times some function f of x, where k is a constant, then we can say that if we take the derivative of g of x, all it is is equal to the derivative of f of x times that constant k. Um, it doesn't state anything here, but f of x has to be a differential function for, or in order for this to happen. Then the next rule states that if f of x is some constant k, where k is a constant, then the derivative of a constant is equal to zero. So we talked about if we had some graph f of x equals k or y equals k, y equals a constant, that was just a horizontal line. And that rate of change on that horizontal line, um, the slope is zero. So that makes sense. And then that last one says, if you have some function f of x, which is equal to a sum, it could also be a difference of two functions, um, g of x plus h of x, both g of x and h of x are differentiable, then we can say that the derivative of f of x is equal to the derivative of g of x plus h of x, derivative of h of x. And then we got this general power rule, which is really exciting. It makes our life so much easier. And that says, if you have some function y equals x to the nth power, we have to say that n is a real number. Then dy dx, so that's the derivative of our function y with respect to the variable x is equal to, all we do is we bring our exponent down front, so bring the exponent in down front, times x and then subtract one from that exponent. So n times x raised to the n minus one power. So let's go through and do some examples using these rules. How about we have that, let's just start easy, f of x equals 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 2x plus 1. And it asked us to find the derivative of this. So we want to find f prime of x. So we're using all three of these rules to do this. And so we can use this sum to break up each piece here. So we're gonna take the derivative of two x cubed, we're gonna take the minus, we're gonna take the derivative of six x squared, plus we're gonna take the derivative of two x, and then we're gonna, plus we're gonna take the derivative of one. So we're gonna be using this sum rule. We're gonna be using the rule that if we have some constant in front of um, a term, then we're gonna use this um, constant rule, constant times a function rule. So we have two, we have six, we have two. Those are our constants. And then we're also taking a derivative of a constant, k, okay, which is this one, which will give us zero. So we're tying all these rules together. Normally I wouldn't walk through and say all those, but we're tying all these rules together when we're taking the derivative of this. And so let's just put it all together. So taking the derivative, we have f prime of x is equal to this two, times the derivative of x cubed. So bring our power down front, which is three, times x, and now subtract one from our power, so three minus one, minus the coefficient in front, which is six. And now let's take the derivative of this x squared. So bring our power down front, two, x, and subtract one from our power, so two minus one, plus, we have this two in front, our coefficient. So let's bring that two out. 
and then the derivative of x. So that exponent, if it's not shown, is one, right? And then subtract one from the exponent. So here we would have one minus one exponent. And then plus the derivative of one. Well, the derivative of a constant is zero. So plus zero. So let's just go through and simplify this a little bit. So we have the derivative of f of x is equal to two times three. So six x, the three minus one power is as a square. Minus six times two, so minus 12 x, two minus one is one. So I don't have to write that one exponent. Plus two times one is two, x to the one minus one power. So this is x to the zero power. But recall, if x isn't zero, um, zero, or a number not zero raised to the zero power is one. So let's just rewrite this right here as one, and then we're done. So we have the derivative of f of x is equal to six x squared minus 12 x plus two times one, which is just two.